Okay, let me show you how to run programs on the virtual Nokia display. I've downloaded the last patch and I'm going to open uh, the virtual Nokia display application. Here we are. Uh, now we're in Kyle and this starter file is just like the other one except it implements the Nokia display uh, in a virtual sense. Okay, so if we could look into the, uh, the virtual Nokia.c file, here on line 37, we're going to see this define statement. And this define statement here is either going to be a 0 or a 1, depending upon the mode. Uh, just like all the other labs, we can begin in simulation. And in simulation, we're going to use the regular Nokia uh, to simulate. So we're going to leave this one as 0 at first. And then we're going to check the modes. And we see we are in simulation mode, and this is the Launchpad uh, DLL. Okay, so we build. This is the starter file. There's no game here. This just shows you how the graphics works. And debug. Okay, so now I'm in the debugger, uh, just like all the other labs. And this will simulate the Nokia display. So I'm going to run the simulator and you can see there's a display. It's going to wait five seconds, which is a long time in simulation mode, so I'm going to quit this. Uh, so far you will develop your application here in the simulator uh, with the output, with the inputs, etc. All right, there's the display. All right, now here comes the fun part and that is when you're run, ready to run on the real board, we're going to build up the game on the launch pad and then we're going to switch this over to zero, to one I mean. We'll switch this to one. And if you look at the functions here, if you look at the, the function that clears, you see that rather than actually clearing the buffer, what it will do is spend, send a special code. Um, again, there's a bunch of different codes and these codes are sent out the PC, out the UART to the PC and then will be rendered on the on the PC screen. All right, so that's the first stage. Uh, we're going to build it okay, because we made a modification. Um, if you want to debug on the real board, that's allowed. So we go over here and debug on the real board. Um, so we can debug. So now I'm running the debugger in real board mode. All right. Running the debugger in real board mode. Uh, again, you can't use the oscilloscope with the virtual display because that's the same channel that we're going to use for graphics. Uh, so now we've got to run Texas Display. Uh, that's not it. This one. Okay. Uh, in the folder where all of the example codes are, uh, with the last download is a brand new Texas Display. So I'm going to launch that. Um, again, this only works with uh, version 1.0. 08 or larger. My uh, COM port uh, for my board, uh, I can use zero because it will search for it because I only have one COM port. So I'm going to choose zero, open, I open it. Um, now over here you see we have some modes. We could have text display uh, like we had for labs um, uh, 11. Uh, we could have the scope, but the one we're going to choose is the Nokia display. It's not that big, so I'll make this a little smaller. And let's go back to the debugger. Debugger. Okay. Push the run button. Go to the display. You can see now uh, the uh, display showing the graphics generated by my program. Um, so I can run this, I can stop, I can break point, and then up in this window over here will be the, um, so if I, for instance, hit the reset button and run it again, we can see that it'll, it'll run again. Okay. Now this connection, this virtual display, does not require Kyle. So it turns out, let me show you another one. If I'm going to go ahead and shut down Kyle, let's say we're ready to play the game, we don't want to adjust the bug. Uh, what we can do, we don't need Kyle anymore. So I shut down Kyle, and now I've downloaded my game. Of course, I just have the starter code now, but once you get your game going, and now what I'm going to do is just push the reset button on the board, and now my game will play. 
again, the connection between the uh, launch pad and the, this window here goes through the serial cable uh, that's part of the USB. All right, uh, that's how it works. Um,